friends in this video we are going to learn how to install SM501 phase monitoring relay and also learn how to do proper connection of this relay and also learn how to do proper setting of this relay and what it did mean of setting so let's start video and first see setup for this phase monitoring relay installation so for installation first we connect one motor starter in motor starter we connect one contactor and one overload relay for overload protection okay so we connect one motor starter for running three phase motor okay also we connect one stop push button for stop and one start push button for starting motor starter also we connect one fault indicator or you can see trip indicator if any fault occur phase monitoring relay is trip then this indicator will blink so we connect one fault indicator okay also we connect one four pole power mcb okay for power supply okay three phase and one neutral okay so we connect one four pole power mcb also we connect one single pole control mcb okay i hope you clear the concept of this setup okay first understand this phase monitoring relay setting and which protection we get for this phase monitoring relay so first in this phase monitoring relay we get phase failure or phase loss protection that means in normal condition in three phase power supply we have r y and b phase by default if any phase is not coming so this phase monitoring relay will trip this phase monitor relay and motor starter will stop okay so we get phase failure or phase loss protection in this phase monitoring relay also we get phase reversal protection okay in compressor or heavy machine we don't want to run motor in reverse direction okay if ryb is phase sequence if phase sequence is changed then motor will run in reverse direction which we don't want okay so in phase reversal if phase sequences change then this phase monitoring relay will not start our motor next is phase asymmetry protection of what is phase asymmetry protection for example in three phase in first phase we have 230 volt in second phase we have 170 volt and in third phase or b phase we have 300 volt for example if phase is unbalanced okay in phase unbalanced condition our motor will burn or our motor starter will not work properly if any phase asymmetry occur then phase monitoring relay will not start our motor starter next is under voltage protection okay which is selectable you can select under voltage how much voltage do you want to trip your phase monitoring relay so you can select in this phase monitoring relay we have 55 percent to 95 percent selectable you can select at how much under voltage you want to trip your phase monitoring relay for example if you set 55 percent in under voltage no that means if you set 55 percent so this 55% of 415 volt okay so if you set 55% then phase monitoring relay will trip on 228 volt if you set 85% so 85% that means your phase monitoring relay will trip on 252 volt approx okay and if you set 90% of this under voltage setting if you set 90% then your phase monitoring relay will trip on 373 volt okay i hope you clear the concept we have under voltage which is selectable you can select at how much under voltage your phase monitoring relay will trip also we have over voltage setting which is selectable also you can select over voltage at how much over voltage occur then phase monitoring relay will trip so you can select at approx 105 to 125 percent of 415 volt okay for example if you select over voltage is 105 percent that means 105 percent of 415 volt that is 435 volt if you select 120 percent that means 498 volt and if you select 125 percent that means over voltage range is 518 volt okay i hope you clear the concept we can select over voltage which is selectable also we have one no for on delay now uh, what is on delay okay if your phase monitoring relay have any fault which could be over voltage or under voltage okay if your phase monitoring relay have any fault over voltage or under voltage if your fault is correct 
ओके ये फॉल्ट इज इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन सो एट हाउ मच टाइम आफ्टर हाउ मच टाइम योर फेज मॉनिटरिंग डिले विल रिसेट ऑटोमेटिकली ओके सो यू कैन सिलेक्ट डिले टाइम इफ योर फॉल्ट ओकर्स एंड इट इज नॉर्मल कंडीशन सो आफ्टर हाउ मच टाइम योर फेज मॉनिटरिंग डिले विल स्टार्ट योर मोटर स्टार्टर ओके also we have some indications first indication for on indication if your rybb power supply is coming okay then on indicator will blink if under voltage fault is occur okay if under voltage fault so uv indicator will blink if we have over voltage fault so if over voltage occur so over voltage indication will blink okay if phase asymmetry if phase unbalanced then last light will blink okay at phase asymmetry last light will blink okay and if any phase reversal it phase reversal last indicator will blink continuously if last light blinking that means phase asymmetry fault if last light continues glow that means phase reversal fault i hope you clear the concept setting of this phase monitoring relay really connection is very simple l1 l2 l3 we need to provide rybb power supply and also we have two common ano and nc 15 is common 16 is nc in normal condition we need do need to do connection 15 and 16 18 is ano okay also we have second common 25 is common 26 is nc and 28 is ano okay for connection we need to do terminal 15 and 16 which is common and nc if not any fault then 15 supply comes in 16 number terminal okay now let's see how to do proper connection so ryb and neutral connect in power mcb first we do r phase and connect to the motor starter l1 terminal contactor l1 terminal y phase in l2 terminal of contactor connection is very simple and b phase connect to the l3 terminal okay if contactor operate so at over voltage r y b comes and connect this supply to motor terminal okay so power wiring is very simple okay now let's do connection for phase monitoring relay so sm501 first we need to provide l1 l2 and l3 if you have sm500 then you need to do connection of neutral also but in 501 we need to do connection only r y b phase so first we connect r in l1 y phase in l2 terminal b phase in l3 terminal so r y b connection is power connection is now done okay if you have sm500 phase monitoring relay then you need to do connection of neutral also okay but in sm501 we don't need to do connection of neutral so we just connect r y and b if your phase monitoring relay have neutral terminal then you need to do connection of neutral also okay so r y b connection is done for control power supply we take r phase and connect this r phase to control mcb input terminal okay now before starting connection first we do connection for neutral okay so neutral need to connect in this trip indicator and contactor okay this is contactor a1 and a2 terminal in which we need to do connection of 220 volt so neutral we take for power mcb and connect it directly to a1 terminal okay neutral connection is done also we need to do connection of neutral of trip indicator so connect in trip indicator so neutral connection is now done which is very simple okay now please note down connection for this line connection so first we take line and connect to the 15 number terminal which is common of this phase monitoring relay 15 is common if all conditions is okay if not any fault then 15 supply comes in 16 number terminal because 15 and 16 is common and nc so we take connect from 16 number terminal which is nc so we take one connector from nc in and if any fault occur then 15 supply comes in 18 number terminal which is ano so first we take one connector from 16 nc connect in overload relay 95 number point if not any overload if in normal condition nc supply comes in 96 number terminal connect to the stop push button nc element output of this nc element connect to the start push button ano element okay if you press this start push button then contactor will operate 
manually okay when you press the start push button your contactor will operate but only for when when we press the start push button only for when we press push button okay so contactor operate only when we press start push button okay for permanent to operate we need to provide holding supply okay so how to provide holding supply so we take one connector from coil to ano terminal okay and output of this ano terminal we need to give holding supply so if we press start push button contactor operate then supply comes here so first we need to connect a holding supply and we take holding supply from nc output terminal or ano input terminal so we take one connector from ano input terminal and connect to the contactor ano terminal okay when we press start push button contactor operate then this holding supply comes here and operate contactor okay i hope you clear the concept of how to provide holding in motor starter if not any fault of phase monitoring phase failure phase unbalance under voltage over voltage then our contactor will operate okay if any fault occur then 15 supply comes in 18 number terminal okay and take one connector from 18 and connect to the trip indicator if any fault occur then our phase monitoring relay will trip then 18 number supply comes in operate trip indicator then we can understand our phase monitoring relay is trip i hope you clear the concept of how to install sm501 phase monitoring relay how to do proper connection and setting if you like this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for